Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Yoi Eats. I'm Yoi, and right now we're in Atlantic City reviewing the Borgata Hotel and all sorts of other food and attractions along the way. But now we're gonna do what we came here for. We came here to eat at Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill to find out if Gordon Ramsay is all he's cracked up to be. Now, Gordon Ramsay was once hands down the best chef in the UK. He was the youngest chef in history to get three Michelin stars. Nowadays, he's kind of mostly known for reality TV and is mostly a celebrity chef. But he does have restaurants in the US. Are his current restaurants legit or is it just his brand? Let's find out, come on. In 300 feet, turn left onto South Arkansas Avenue. And once you enter Caesar's Palace, you'll see Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill right in front of you. Honestly, Gordon, you got prime real estate. Your restaurant is being watched over by all these Greek slash Roman gods with a painted sky, which looks like it has not been repainted in a while. All right, we have a reservation, so let's get to it. All right, guys, I just got seated, and so far the service here is spectacular. Everyone from waiters to the bus boys. Very interesting decor of this place. You got a pub in the middle surrounded by this super British themed stuff. Like you got some of those uh, Buckingham Palace guards. You got Buckingham Palace uh, picture of it in the back as well as the British flag. And what's kind of interesting about this place too is that you have Caesar's Palace in the back and you know, all the British stuff kind of melds into the ancient Roman stuff. You wouldn't think it would work, but it kind of does. Let's take a look at Gordon's menu. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like he's got some British themed cocktails, a whole bunch of wine, Gordon's wines. Interesting that these are all from California. And I am here for dinner. I'll be back for lunch tomorrow just to try as many items as I can. For starters, we got all sorts of interesting stuff. Wasabi deviled eggs sound really interesting. Wagyu meatballs sound amazing. I hear good things about this English ale onion soup. Split pea I hear is pretty good too. He's got a sandwich section and I know Gordon Ramsay really prides himself on making good burgers, so might want to try that. And then we got some classic Ramsay stuff at the bottom. We got your steaks. Beef Wellington I know is his signature dish. Uh, he's all about that on Hell's Kitchen. Shepherd's pie, chicken pot pie, scallops, fish and chips, all sorts of British stuff. Plugging the cocktails again on the right side of the menu, but at the bottom, are the desserts, and I hear all of these are excellent. Everyone says you gotta get the sticky toffee pudding. Uh, I might do that tomorrow, since today I'm gonna order a few things and try them all. Hard to pick what we want, but it's Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill, so, so I decided to go with fish and chips, beef wellington, and shepherd's pie. So I'm gonna do the beef wellington, and... Uh, yeah, so I've heard. So I'm gonna do the beef wellington, and then I'm gonna do a shepherd's pie, and... Okay, nice and I'll do a uh, fish and chips. I'll do those three and uh, they can come whenever they're ready. They don't have to come all at once. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome, my food's finally here, so let's dig in. What's pretty remarkable is I said everything didn't have to come at once and usually restaurants are relieved to hear that, but here I said that and everything came at once anyways. Now this is the shepherd's pie served in a really cute container. If I'm getting British food, I have to get fish and chips and Gordon Ramsay opened a fish and chips restaurant in Vegas, so I had to try it here. And of course, his signature dish, Beef Wellington. All right, I decided to start with fish and chips first because it's deep fried and you know, these things taste better hot, so let's dive right in. Mmm, that's really good. I'm a big fish and chips fan. For me, fish and chips always hits the spot. That's really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try it now with the tartar sauce. Ooh. That tartar sauce is to die for. Mmm. Mmm. I'm being completely serious. That is probably one of the best tartar sauces I've ever had. And it goes perfectly with the fish and chips. This is a really good fish and chips. Maybe top five I've ever had. Not top one, I've been to the UK and I've had really good fish and chips in London. Uh, I would say this is top five. It's fish and chips, so let's try the chip. Okay, it's a solid french fry. I mean, french fries are french fries, right? They're hard to screw up. I mean, you can tell looking at it that it's hand cut. It's 
the way the skin is on and, and the way that they're not all uniform size. It's good. I wouldn't say these fries are better than Five Guys or anything, but yeah, I mean, it's a good chip. It's a good fry. What can I say? Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, we're going to try the shepherd's pie now. Ooh. Oh. Now that was delicious. That was probably one of the best shepherd's pies I've ever had in my life. Maybe the best. Wow. Oh, that is, that is, that is extraordinary. The server told me that Gordon uses lamb and not beef, which you typically find in the U.S. That lamb was treated really well and must be really fresh and it's just so soft. It, it's got like this lamb flavor, but not overpowering. Oh. oh, man. I am not kidding you guys. That is unbelievable. Just look. Look how generous they are with the lamb. It's not just like a few pieces here and there or ground pieces. I just dug in there and it's huge chunks of lamb. Amazing. Mm. If you come to this restaurant, get that. The fish and chips was good, but not really worth $30 in my opinion. And it wasn't spectacular, except for the tartar sauce. But that shepherd's pie is out of this world. All right, last but hopefully not least, this is Gordon's signature dish. And the server told me that this is the superstar at this restaurant. So. Let's find out if it lives up to its name. Wow. I know you guys probably think I'm exaggerating just for the video, but that is out of this world delicious. It's a lot of food. I might not finish all this, but I am definitely finishing this no matter what. Got a bigger piece of filet mignon on this one. Mm. Mm. My goodness, it's just perfect. The pastry is fluffy and buttery. The meat is soft and melts in your mouth and not chewy at all and well seasoned. It's not bland. Oh man. Oh, that is unbelievable. For me, this went from worst to best right away. The fish and chips was good. I just didn't think it was superb. The shepherd's pie, oh, amazing. But this beef Wellington, I'll be real with you. It was expensive, it was $60, but it might've been worth it. This, 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 is, this is one of the best meat dishes I've ever eaten. Mm. Spectacular, spectacular. I almost forgot about the sides. I forgot about the mashed potatoes and the peas and the carrots. Let's give it a try. Okay, I mean, hmm, okay. I mean, the mashed potatoes are good, but they're not spectacular. Uh, I would say they're maybe above average. I make better mashed potatoes at home, not to brag. Okay, the peas taste like peas and the carrot. It's just a normal carrot, but my goodness, guys, the, the food here is outstanding. Okay. Oh yes, everything's good. Thanks for checking in. And the service is good. They keep checking in on me like every, uh, very frequently. So, you know, keep up the good standards, Gordon. But honestly, this food is spectacular. Yes, it is a little pricey, but Gordon Ramsay, he's a celebrity chef. Uh, he's on TV. And before that, he had Michelin stars. Yes, it is expensive, but you kind of have to expect it. So my verdict, Gordon Ramsay, not overrated. Gordon Ramsay, you are not a donkey. All right, guys, I'm going to finish eating this and I'll check back in a bit. Wow, that was a great meal. A little on the pricey side, but once in a while it's worth it. And plus, he's a big name, so it makes sense. I'll be back for lunch tomorrow to try a few more items. Until then, I ate way too many calories for one person. So let's burn off a few calories in Caesar's Palace. Looks like Gordon Ramsay's opening up a Hell's Kitchen in Atlantic City. So I wonder if the show will be filmed here at one point.
right guys, I think I walked off a lot of my calories and plus it's the day after Memorial Day weekend so there's not really that many people out and about so I'm gonna go back to my hotel and relax for a bit so catch you guys in the morning. All right, so day two, we're going back to Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill to eat lunch this time because I hear his burgers are pretty good and he prides himself on his burgers. So we're gonna try that and we're gonna try dessert. All right, we're back and this time we're sitting on the other side of the restaurant and I know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the pub burger and then we're gonna try that sticky toffee pudding. Hi. Right, yeah, so I know what I want. I'm gonna go with the pub burger. Oh, it's okay, good, sir. Uh, let me do medium. Medium? Yes, sir. Awesome, so Gordon claims he makes a pretty mean burger, so I can't leave Atlantic City until I put his burger to the test. When we first started here about seven years ago, uh, Chef Christina, one of the winners of Hell's Kitchen, was picked, of course, by Gordon Ramsay. Oh. And she is one of the main operators of these restaurants, at least on the Northeast. We get people from around the country, internationally. I have people from Canada come every day. I have people from uh, from Mexico a little bit, and occasionally we'll get some people from Europe. On TV, Gordon Ramsay presents himself as this really no-nonsense perfectionist. Would yes. you say that like the standards here are also pretty pretty perfectionist? Would you say? Oh, indeed. If something is not to, to par with with what we expect, we we don't serve it. We do live up. At least we try to, to the Gordon Ramsay expectations. Has Gordon Ramsay ever visited this restaurant? Yes, it has been quite some time, about three years since he has been here. However, Hell's Kitchen will be opening up in, in Atlantic City on this floor. And so we expect Gordon Ramsay to make some sort of appearance around Labor Day when we open. And as I was filming that, the food literally arrived right in front of my face. Service here is pretty fast, so let's eat. Not gonna lie, the food looks pretty good. These fries look like they're hand cut because you can still see some of the skin on them. What's interesting is that they're thinner fries. They're not like the potato wedges from the fish and chips yesterday. So I guess they feel like this goes better with burgers. And this burger's got a lot of lettuce, some bacon. They said that's English cheddar. Okay, so the patty looks kind of small, but the bun looks like high quality. This is like a nice brioche bun, I'm guessing. I gotta say the burger to bun to lettuce ratio doesn't look great but I guess we'll have to give it a try. All right, guys, let's give it a shot. Bite one. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Wow, that is excellent. Let me take another bite. Ooh. Mmm. So I take back what I said earlier. The meat is actually a decent quantity. When the burger was still fluffed up, it looked like the meat was really small, but, but once you start to bite into it, you see that it's actually a pretty solid piece of meat. I would say maybe a third pound of beef, something like that. And the blend of meat, it's not just chuck, it's a great blend of different cuts of beef. Mmm, that is a spectacular burger. It's not the best burger I've ever had, but it, it's pretty good. I'm not sure if it's worth $20, but you know, it's Gordon Ramsay. You're kind of paying for his name. You kind of have to expect some sort of markup. Now let's try the fries. Mmm. Hmm. I mean, these are just ordinary french fries. I mean, like I said, you can tell they're hand cut because you can still see the skin on them. Plus, they're all different sizes and they're not uniform sized. So they're solid french fries, but these fries aren't gonna blow you away. I thought the fries from the fish and chips yesterday were much better. To me, these are good fries, but they're inferior to Five Guys. But, but they're french fries. Who doesn't like french fries? Hard to screw up. Mm. Thank you. How was everything? Very good. Um, can I also do the sticky toffee pudding? Yes, you may. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely my favorite dessert. It's Gordon Ramsay's grandmother's recipe. It's the warm moist cake, double cream, vanilla ice cream, and that hot sticky toffee caramel sauce. I like it because you get the warm cake and cold ice cream in every bite. I'll put that in for you, though. Oh, it was his grandma's recipe? Yes, it was. Oh, all right. Would you like that to come out now or when you finish the burger? Uh, now would be good. Yeah, thank you. The waiter just told me that the sticky toffee pudding is a must because it's Gordon Ramsay's grandma's personal recipe. So grandma's recipe for everything is gonna be awesome. Add that Gordon Ramsay Michelin star education to it. My expectations are through the roof right now. So we'll have to wait and see. The signature dessert just arrived. Gordon Ramsay's sticky toffee pudding. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. So I think you're supposed to pour this sauce on top of it. All right guys, 
and let's give it a try. Oh my goodness, I'm like speechless. I need to take another bite. Oh, I am not exaggerating. That might be one of the top five desserts I've ever had. It's spongy, it's caramelly, but the caramel flavor isn't overpowering. It's strong, but in a good way, like kind of walking the balance between an excess amount and overkill, and I like that. And this sauce that they paired it with, ah, uh, it's sweet, but it just goes so perfectly. We need, I need more of this. Ah, oh, yeah. There you go. Mmm, incredible. Let's try the vanilla ice cream. Mmm, the ice cream's good. It's got that really fresh vanilla flavor. It's really creamy, uh, but kind of like icicly in a way. I've had better ice cream. Obviously, Gordon Ramsay isn't an ice cream maker, so it's good. It serves its purpose, but I'll still take my favorite ice cream place over that any day. But maybe it should be eaten in combination. Oh. Oh, man. Do what I just did, you gotta mix them. If you mix them, it's perfect. Oh my goodness, that is out of this world. Oh man, this is too good. It's just, the pudding is warm, the ice cream is cold. It's a perfect combination of flavor. Mmm. Wow, wow. Gordon Ramsay's grandma, you the real MVP. But anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I came here with a mission of seeing if Gordon Ramsay really is all he's cracked up to be, or, or if he's just a celebrity TV chef. I think the only thing on the menu that I thought was not that great was the fish and chips, but everything else I had here, the burger, the sticky toffee pudding, the shepherd's pie, that beef wellington, oh my goodness. Everything was great, and in my mind, the guy lives up to the legend. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like my content, like and subscribe. Check out my channel if you want to watch more of my videos, but if you subscribe, that'll help keep you up to date. Anyways, once again guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.